All right, so I have redone the video for the splatter dispersion project, okay? This is what your project is going to look like. I'll show you what I initially started with. I'm going to take away these layers right here. And this is the guy that I started with. And then this is what I came up with. And that all starts with this splatter project right here where there's no layers. You go to the internet really fast. And once you do go there, I got this guy running. I did a Google search. I typed in person running, literally. And, you know, I copy, right-click, copy the image, and I've pasted it into Photoshop. At this stage of the game, you guys need to know how to use already the Magic Wand tool, how to crop someone out, and also the polygonal lasso tool. Okay? So I'm not going to go into how to crop someone again because these are skills that you all know how to do. And now the new versions of Photoshop, I'll be honest, they have really advanced ways of cropping people and um, getting someone, um, you know, put into their own layer and making your own background. So I've cut out this person as an individual. My next order of business is I'm going to, I want to, sh I want to make him shape face the right way. So I'm going to hit control T and I'm sorry, before I hit control T, don't even do that. My bad. You're going to go to Edit, Free Transform. Oh, I'm sorry, Edit, Transform. Jeez. Edit, Transform, and you're going to go to Flip Horizontal. Now I got him facing the other way. You could also do it the uh, Control T and move him, but then I'm going to click the Move tool and get him like over here. Why? Because I just want this stuff going this way, all of his splatter going this way, just like in this image. How did I do that? Here's how we do it. You are first going to uh, right-click. And you're going to convert this layer to a smart object. Now that this layer is a smart object, I'm going to make three versions of it. I'm going to go to, I have one, I have two, and now I've got three. The bottom one, I will call it reference. Because that's your original reference. This layer, I'm going to call it liquify. This layer, I will call it original. All right. Now, in the liquify layer, in the liquify layer, I am going to liquify this guy. So here's how you do that. You're going to go into filter and you're going to click on liquify right here. It's also shift control X. So you're going to go to liquify. Now, in the liquify menu, which is basically for this project, we are going to focus on this forward wrap tool. Click on it. It looks just like the smudge tool. And you're going to click and drag this guy out. I want to just emphasize something with this culture that we have here. You know how all these guys have these gigantic muscles? Look, here's how that happens. See how much bigger his tricep is? Just so you know, a lot of the stuff you see on the internet is fake. Liquify is one of the reasons for it. All right? So that being said, I'm dragging him out. And don't be shy. There is a reason that we're doing this. This is because this all this liquify stuff is going to be a consistent splatter of color based on the image itself. So I'm dragging him out really good. And the parts that were out further, you can drag out further. All right, don't be scared. Just drag it out. Don't be shy with this part. Like, drag it out. It doesn't have to look perfect. You got to just, this is for splatter purposes. All right? And there's going to be less splatter in certain areas. All right? There you have it. All right, and let's get it up here, too. We want a little splatter possibly up there. You want to make sure you've covered all ground where splatter could possibly go. Other projects, you could splatter them over here, too, if you want. But for now, we're just going to splatter them going this way. And we're going to hit OK. Now, the reason you don't see it is because it's on here. Take away this layer. Now you're on the liquify layer. In the liquify layer, you're going to create a layer mask. Now that you've created the layer mask, you're going to hit Control-I. And you have inverted it. It disappears. Don't worry about that. You're now going to go to the original layer, take away the bottom layer, take away the reference layer, bring the original layer to be visible. Now that the original layer is visible, you're going to create another layer mask on the original layer. Click on the original layer. Boom. Click the layer mask. Now, on the layer mask, you're going to have black as the foreground color. And you're then going to click on the brush. Now, here's the deal. I have pre-selected uh, a, a splatter, which I wanted. So if you go into special effects brushes, all right, I made my splatter brush. You can go into special effects brushes 
and you can choose any one of these brushes you want. They have already brushes here. So let's say you wanted this brush right here to face a different way. You could change the direction of it to make sure it's facing a certain way, okay? You could change the size of it here to make your brushes look a certain way, all right? Uh, with that, that, that being said, you then can, if you want to save this brush to this exact size in this exact direction, you can click on this one and name the brush. So I'll just call this uh, um, my new brush, my splatter. My splatter brush dash two. Little SEO reference with the dash in there, right? Hit OK. Now, with black selected, let's just say I wanted to use this brush that I just created, right? Well, if I go into here, here's my, my splatter brushes. Um, you're going to see that there's my splatter brush two is now an option. I click it, boom, it's already set to size. All right, now we got the brush. We're good. So here's the deal. With black selected in the foreground, I'm going to make sure that I click on here and by holding this down look holding this down I'm slowly putting splatter on this guy I'm dissipating him he's slowly disappearing on the mask you notice the mask fills in all the areas that you have so check it out look his arm is disappearing over here make sure that you get all these little lines taken away all right that's very very essential to this all right so there you go he's slowly disappearing too much a little bit much get too crazy don't get too disappearing happy on this guy no. all right his arms disappearing now top of his arm disappearing all right let's get this part it shouldn't be as predominant in here we can just touch over here a little bit little parts of him here slowly now we'll get into his torso And parts of this guy. He's erasing. All right, take your time with this, okay? You get the idea. So now I'm coming down over to here, erasing more of him. He is slowly disappearing now. I want this edge gone, so I'm making sure that I focus on this edge on this guy, right? Getting this taken away. All of this is taking a little longer than I would have anticipated, and I apologize for that. All right. Um, don't be scared to change up brushes, too. Let's get this part of his backside gone. History. All right. That's legit. Now, it's already starting to look like a splatter, but we're going to make it even more effective the other on the other uh, liquify layer, and I'll show you that in a moment. All right. Let me just go into here and click on a little bit of a different brush i have my splatter brush which i liked a lot all right playing with different brushes now okay good get rid of that that's cool i'm all right with this let me get rid of this part of his butt Boom. okay cool i'm good let me just put a little bit of splatter over here because he's still disappearing this is fine now next order of business he's pretty much splattered away i'm going to go to the liquify layer i am going to put white now as my foreground color this one i have black um I believe it was black on this one i have black i'm sorry yeah this one was black yep and now the liquify on this one is going to be white so watch this on the liquify layer by clicking on a brush and going on my liquify layer Sorry, you click on this guy right here. I'm glad this happened. I was uh, freaking out because I couldn't edit this layer. Well, that's because it's not visible. By making this layer visible, you click on the liquify layer. Make sure that now white is selected. And watch. Look, I'm slowly revealing that liquefied part. And you could hold down, um, hold down this part longer than you will on the outskirts because you want it to be dissipating. So the closer to the body, you'll hold the, the mouse down as you're liquefying it. And the further out you go, it'll disappear, okay? So it's like that. Uh, holding it down, holding down, holding down, okay? And now he's disappearing. I'm going to 
drag them out a little bit. Let's say that um, this is coming together now, okay? I'm dragging this guy out, giving him more of the liquefy layer in. He's disappearing. This is looking legit. I'm happy with this. I'm going to drag a little bit, little outskirts out here that I've got. And now this guy is almost history. Let me just show you something. Let's say I make a mistake and I put too much into here, right? You could flip this and you could take it away again. You can actually erase it now by flipping these back and forth. White will give it more. Black will take it away. See? And black takes it away. All right. So now I'm okay with this so far. I'll just delete these parts. That's cool. All right. I'm all right with the way he looks now as far as dis disappearing. Now, there's one last step I want to show you guys that makes this project look a little bit better. By the way, you can create custom brushes by going to a splatter in Google, and you can make a splatter a custom brush if you wanted to by using the uh, rectangular marquee. And then you can go to edit to find brush set. Um, um, uh, uh, edit to find brush set. All right. Uh, it's right here. And I showed that in the last project. But now I want to make this look a little bit more vibrant. So here's how we do this. I'm going to duplicate, duplicate the liquify layer. So in order to do that, you click the, the liquify layer and duplicate it. Drag it right down to the plus symbol. It made another layer. After you've duplicated the um, uh, layer here, you're going to go the uh, liquify layer. You're going to go into this menu right here, which is called the adjustments, and you're going to click on vibrance. Now, here is my properties menu for the vibrance. You're going to take the vibrance of this particular layer right here, and you're going to drag the vibrance all the way up and the saturation all the way up. And you're going to notice right in here. There's a little bit of a change in there. All right. Now, there's one last thing you can do to this, which is right here. And on this layer, um, you're done right now. But you can hold Select Alt G. Um, you're going to go to uh, Control Alt G. Uh, Alt G, rather. Sorry. Alt G. And that's good. We're good here. This is fine. So now that this is done here, to match this, to make this work with this layer, you would hit uh, Alt-G, or Control-Alt-G, rather. All right, and what that did it is it assigned it to this particular um, layer right here. And that's it. And now you have basically created a splatter effect. Now, last thing that I always tell you guys, first of all, I can go back to my original layer. If you go to Graphic Design School, you have to design, design a portfolio. You want to show people, I was able to make this into this. You want to be able to show the process. Of course, you ain't going to be able to show nothing unless you go to File, Save As. You're going to go to your Graphic Design folder, which I told you should be on your desktop, Graphic Design. You're going to make this right-click New Folder. You're going to call this Splatter Dispersion. And inside your splatter dispersion folder, you're going to call it, yes, make the file the same name as the folder. Boom. Right. And hit save. Okay. Now I have this saved in the right spot. I was able to create the splatter and you guys are good. And this here obviously is done. On here, you go to this page on studentportfoliony.com. You make sure you click the video and watch it. So it's a tutorials. Here are the skills that you've learned. And as my students, if I put your work on here, you get an instant hundred on the project. Okay. Good luck to you.